In this video I'm going to be adding a radio filter. So we're going to start by duplicating the image. Then I'm going to hide the bottom layer. And then I'm going to go over to the selections persona and I'm going to put a selection around the squirrel and a little bit around the grass as well. And then once I've done that, I'm going to invert the selection and then I'm going to add a mask layer so I'll hide the, the selection I just made. And then I'm going to click deselect. And then clicking on the top layer, I'm going to go over to the filter studio. And I'm going to click on maximum blur. Click on circular and then I'm going to bring the radius up. And this is what's going to give it that bokeh effect. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to press the tick at the bottom. And then I'm going to go down to radial blur. And I'm just going to bring that up a little bit, it doesn't need too much. And then again press the tick. I'm then going to bring back the, the background layer, the first background layer, by taking the little box in the corner. So I've added a mask layer to the very top layer, the one that we added the layer filter to. And with the paintbrush tool and the colour on black, I'm just going to paint around the edges so it's not as harsh and it'll blend in. And the further around I go, I will just lower the opacity to help it blend a little bit better as well. And then I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment. So I'm going to bring the contrast up and the brightness down and this is just going to just help bring back some of the colour into the picture and make it just tie in a little bit more and match. And 